actually see some fresh snow on the mountain here from the distance. Darn it. I was hoping to fly just briefly, but it's actually raining here. Oh, I gotta get going too so I can't stick around to see if it stops. Do you ever dare to fly when it's just raining very little like this? I don't know, for me a little bit of snow is okay, but not for rain water. Oh, it's definitely all soaking wet now. some of the Black Friday stuff I ordered is being shipped today. Although it's interesting reading this notice on the Canada Post. It says, delivery may be delayed due to labor disruption. So who knows, it'll probably be delayed to who knows when, but I, you should be getting your stuff before Christmas for people that are buying things for presents anyways, like for all the stuff I got. How about this? From parcel delivery to surveillance, Singapore to unleash drone swarm. Its civil aviation has gotten behind the project, acknowledging the potential to transform mobility and logistics. High Tech Singapore is planning to roll out a swarm of drones for tasks that include delivering parcels, inspecting buildings, and providing security. But safety and privacy concerns mean the initiative may hit turbulence. Many people are already afraid of one, so imagine like a swarm of them in the air just in a city that embraces the tech. And like this, robot guards. Drones are also being tested as robotic guards by a local firm. ST Aerospace. At its command center, screens show a simulated security breach in a fence. A black drone is deployed, which chases an intruder while transmitting live images that direct security officers towards him to make an arrest. It's pretty much going to be like living in a live action movie there. Although it's going to take, I guess, a lot of education because people are still paranoid of the tech, like understandably, like in many cases. Like it says here, many people still had misconceptions about drones. Some might view it as spying vehicle, others might think drones are out there to do harm. Even like for myself when I'm flying it like normally casually, if people aren't afraid of it, they still have the habit of waving at the drone like they think the camera or something's on them. I'm like, nope, I'm like capturing the view there. In those cases, I don't know if just literature, like for people to read or watch is enough, like to stop them from being so afraid of it. You have to give it to people to try out. That's been my experience anyways. For people who are freaked out about it, once they actually get to try it, control it a little bit and see things like the views, then they're not as paranoid about it afterwards. It actually just becomes something cool that they want to try later on, like to learn more about it. where they apparently have that water problem. Oh yeah, let's get the closer down. There's another entrance over there too. It seems like everyone's coming here to try to see the otter. Although it makes me wonder, if you're locking it inside, is it gonna eat all the fish? TV drone would be good for this, like a micro one. Ah, uh, no otter looking, I guess. Ah, uh, looks like the rain's here to stay today. Uh, I guess it's archived today.
All right, see you guys later.